So do you think I could make a new mod? Yeah, sure. I'm going to name it Tower. I think I'm going to make a tower. So I will call it Tower and I'm going to use Blockly. The language with the little blocks. First thing I'm going to do is go into the functions tab and choose my beginning block and name it main. Nice, good. A lot of people forget that. Mm -hmm. Why does it need to be called main? Because you can have a whole bunch of functions and the computer needs to start the program somewhere. Mm -hmm. And so it just looks for the one called main and starts there. So main can tell the computer to perform other functions? Exactly. Okay, so if I want to build a tower, I'm going to need blocks. Hmm, that doesn't look like what I need. What's drone? What is a drone? Yeah, so a drone is kind of like an invisible robot that'll build stuff for you. So actually, it's probably exactly what you need for a tower. You can try to figure it out um, on your own, or this might be a good time to go find a badge that um, will teach you what you need to know, because you can always come okay. back to this mod later. Yeah. So we'll go to home and find the badges, or maybe one that uses a drone. Functions. Hey, drones and locations. This one looks good. How learn how to create a drone and build a tower with it. Well, That's that <laughs> is cool. exactly what I need. <laughs> That's a nice coincidence. New page. Yes. High five. High five. Okay, I'm going to look at the video and just follow along with it. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to work with drones. We're going to create a tower of bricks using drones. You create a drone by going to variables and selecting the block that says set item 2. Then you go to the drone category and select the block that says new drone. We want to rename this variable and there's a small arrow. Just left click on that and select rename variable. And we're going to rename this variable D for drone. Alright, now you've created a drone. But we want to add this to our main function. So create a main function and just add your drone block in. I'm going to rename this as me. And I can see the progress bar at the top. It says I'm 38% complete. Now that we have our drone, we want to do something with it. So go back to the drone category and select the block that says place block of type. Now go to material and scroll down until you find brick. Okay, so I scroll down until I find brick. So I put the brick in, and I can also look at this JavaScript tag, and this is the code that I'm writing right now. And I'm using the blocks to make it easier, but if I didn't have these blocks, I would be writing it like this. Okay, next thing in the video. Now, go back to drone, and select the block that says move drone in direction up. We want to move up a distance of one, and then we want to place another brick. There you go. <laughs> Second brick, we want to move up one more. And place our last brick. And now you have a tower of three bricks. That's the end of this lesson. Duplicate it, and plug it in. Yay, high five! Nice. Now I can test my code by pressing the mod button. I will mod it. Hey, I ran the drones mod for the first time. Cool. So I go back to Minecraft. And I open up my mod chest. This one is my first mod, but this one is my drones mod. I'm going to plug this in, and I'm going to take this one back. Okay. I'm going to run my mod by right-clicking. Nice. And it built a tower of three bricks.
Yeah. Yay. One of the bricks on the first tower is just underground, I think. Ah. Uh. Yeah. This okay. starts the drone wherever your crosshairs are pointing at. So, yeah, so it builds a brick okay. right there and then two more up above it. You could dig underneath and see if you want. Yeah, there so we go. there's some brick under there. Yeah. Cool. Well, Fine. okay, so now you learned how to use the drone um, with that badge, so you could always go back now to your mod that you're starting on and see if you can use that same trick there.